don't have to save any of your data or uh, partition your hard drives or anything like that. This upgrade does that for you and it is very, very nice. Um, so let me first uh, prove that I don't have Windows 10 already. If we go down to uh, this, which clearly shows it's 8.1, uh, the start menu for Windows 8.1, and we go to Control Panel, I have it saved here. If you don't have it saved here, you can go to the apps and search for Control Panel, and it will show up right there. That's one way to get it. Now, if you go to System and Security, and you go to System, click the green button for System, uh, you will see that I have Windows 8, and you will see what type of processor I have, the installed memory, which is a problem. This is a little note, netbook, but that doesn't matter for this. It's a 64-bit operating system. Um, when you upgrade to Windows 10 via the method I show you, you are going to have 64-bit Windows 10 if you had 64-bit Windows 8 to begin with. If you uh, started with 32-bit Windows 8, you will have 32-bit Windows 10 in uh, the upgrade. So if you want to convert between 32 and 64-bit architectures, that's a completely uh, extra piece of the process that takes a lot longer. You are going to have to um, wipe the partitions or have a major partition on your hard drive for that. So we're not doing that today, just we're going from 64-bit Windows 8 to 64-bit Windows 10. So here's where you go on your browser to get there. Um, you go to uh, software download on www.microsoft.com um, and you'll uh, see download Windows 10 as an option. Um, I'm going to put this link right here, this really long link. I'm going to put it in the description for this video so you can just get it. Uh, what you're going to do is, this is the installation media, and so you're going to press download now. And uh, it's just finishing up here. There we go. So we're going to execute this, okay? We can close this browser. It's going to take a little bit of time to start up. As you can see, this is sort of Windows 10 font, Windows 10 uh, colors. And it's just getting this stuff ready. So again, notice how I'm not like frantically like saving an image of my hard drive or creating a system image or backing anything up. You don't need to do that. Windows 10 does not erase any um, partitions on your hard drive. It creates a partition for Windows 10 system files and it saves all of your programs. It saves all of your files. Um, it's a really, really easy upgrade. It will eventually go to the next window. And that window looks like this. So uh, these are the basic terms. Um, you're going to uh, not need to read through those, just go ahead and click accept. Um, now, one thing a lot of people worry about is product key. You have a product key for your current version of Windows 8 or 8.1. What Windows 10 does is it just uses that product key and activates your version of Windows online for you. So you don't need to go hunting for your product key or figure out where your product key is. It's stored and uh, Windows can, uh, communicates with Microsoft to uh, validate it for you. And this is exactly what's happened to me. I've done this more than once and um, I never needed to know what my product key is. Okay, so then you come to this window here and it asks you what you wanna do. Now, if you're just upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 10, same architecture, you would click upgrade this PC now. If you're wanting to change architectures or install it on another computer, for example, you'd click this version and it would create a bootable disk or a bootable USB flash drive. But that's not what you're doing. You're upgrading this PC now. Press next. And it's gonna go back to this screen for a little while. Now, if you don't have enough space on your uh, hard drive, maybe you have a small hard drive like this computer does, uh, this will show up at this point. Um, it's eight gigabytes or whatever, gigabytes of free disk space needed on drive C. And you'll have to go remove some files. And that's fine because you could download them again later or uh, save them or whatever or install them again later if they're programs once you uh, get Windows 10 up and running. If you get this warning, definitely use uh, a free up disk space feature on your computer to clean up uh, unnecessary files on your computer.
All right, now when it's got a, a clear view that you have eight gigabytes free or more on your PC, it's gonna start the download process. And this, of course, is gonna take some time also, so I'll skip through this. All right, so that took me about 30 minutes to download all that. It might take you a little less time, but as you can see here, it just lets you uh, keep using your PC that whole time, so you're not just sitting there. Now um, it's gonna do a verifying procedure, and that's gonna take a decent amount of time as well. Not quite as long as the download, but it will take some time. At some point during this process, it's gonna switch over to saying it's creating Windows 10 Media. Uh, not to be alarmed, that's the same thing. And um, it does it in batches, so you'll see the progress shoot up like it is right now. Um, uh, just continue on as normal. Okay, and so now it's finished that. Now it's uh, saying this. It's gonna clean up before it closes. And it's pretty soon the computer's gonna shut off. It's gonna start uh, doing Windows 10. So I'm gonna switch over to my phone, of course. So it quickly check for updates, and then um, since there aren't any, uh, since it's a brand new download, it's going to uh, check a new window popped up. It says check for PC. It's getting a few things ready um, before it starts to boot from Windows 10 Media. Then you're asked to sign uh, another set of licenses, which um, helps verify that your product key still works. So press accept on that. And then it checks for more updates. As Windows loves to do, it loves its updates. So it's going to take a minute to do this. All right, so the next one that shows up is this one, making sure we're ready to install. It's not really giving me percentage progress on this one. Just uh, tell me to wait, of course. Lots of waiting. Depending on your processor speed, your, obviously your wait's going to be longer or shorter. Next, it's going to make sure your PC has enough space. And it looks like uh, my computer needs more space for the update. So as you can see, it's given me the, uh, oops, this page pops up from Microsoft. Um, what it does is it gives me these options here to uh, free up more space. And I've already done that because I didn't have enough space on the hard drive. You need eight gigabytes, like I said earlier. Um, and then it needs an additional 10 gigabytes just to download the update and then install it. And uh, then it will uh, not need that room once it puts those updates in. So I'm going to insert a flash drive with enough space here. And it's going to uh, make that clear to me what the drive is and I know there's nothing in there and so um, that is my drive for sure and going to press continue and it's going to install Windows 10 Home it's going to keep all my personal files like I want because I want this to be a smooth and easy process and uh, we're not going to be using the PC after this so after I press install I'm going to uh, stop this video and turn over to my um, phone let's begin So as you can see now on my screen, this is what happened after I pressed install. It uh, um, took away my ability to use it, and uh, now it's installing Windows 10 for real. And it's going to restart several times during this process, so there's no need to worry about that. Uh, nothing's wrong. Um, and it's definitely going to take a while. It says, this this might take a while. Oh, it's definitely going to take a while. Um, so we're just going to let this process continue, and I'll check back in with you when it's almost finished. After the first restart, it's going to start installing some updates like you normally see on Windows computers um, when you are shutting it down. Um, please, as it, the warning says, do not turn your PC off during this time. Alright guys, once everything's good to go and it restarted for its last time, you're going to see this loading screen with this particular symbol for Windows 10. You have to do a few minimal sign-in things before you start working with Windows 10, guys. That's how easy it is. You'll see all your stuff there ready to go. Um, nothing's been moved. All your files are still there. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching.